This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily. Wily. Wily Sneak. Whoa! It's off to the tower! You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover! I am waiting for you, kiddies! Who will take the rest? Because only one will escape! And the rest? <laughs> Ah, come on, it's Jub Jub feeding time. It happens once every 12 minutes. He loves fish fingers. Sorry, I mean fish and fingers. Preferably small children's fingers. Ow, ow, down. Come on, Fluffy, calm down, will you? Oh, there. Ooh, that guzzle snack should keep him quiet for a while. Ah, the bobbin crafts arrived. Ah, so. Ah, up they come, up to the tower. Foul creatures, terrible smells. I'm not talking about the tower, I'm talking about them lot. Look. This bunch of unfortunates are from Wigan. That's Zoe. She plays chess in her sleep. Luke flies to school on a cornflake. Chloe, who is an organic farmer. That's Jamie. He's secretly terrified of everything. Ellie has candy floss for hair, and Cory, who discovered France last Tuesday, by accident. <laughs> this is my watch tank. This is where I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Hundreds of years ago, Bobbincraft began arriving each one filled with unfortunates, ready to take on the voice and her tower. <laughs> Imprisoned at the top, they work as a team to pass the challenges and escape each floor. But one of them cannot be trusted. On each floor, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. <laughs> Helps them to ensure their team fail each challenge. Floor by floor, it's a battle against their friends. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest remain. <laughs> floor six, body shock. <laughs> it's body shock. That lab is creepy, and by that I mean there's plenty of creeping. This is the Tower Lab. To pass this challenge, unfortunates must assemble a body from body parts scattered around the room. Easy, eh? Ha! Well, it would be if the lab didn't keep having power cuts. If this happens, they must beware, as someone might release the botherers. They must deal with the botherers and complete the body in time, or they will fail. Who is the one who can't be trusted? It's time to pick. The Saboteur! Luke, do not react. You are the Saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You must make sure the body is not complete at the end of two minutes. During the power cuts, you can release the botherers and they will seek to destroy the body. Do not panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Crafty! Can Luke make the others lose so he can win? Unfortunates, this is body shock. To pass, you must have completed the body at the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! Okay, Luke, look like you're helping your team. Grab a body part. Where does this go in there? Yeah, got the hands. Encourage your teammates. Come on, Now get ready. The first power cut is coming. Quick, creep over, release the botherers. Give it a turn. Here they come. Just stand aside and let them destroy the body. <laughs> now look like you're helping the team again. Quick, 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 get him in. Now grab another body part. Come on, 
Get the leg. Hurry up. Right. <laughs> I've got the arm. I've got the heart. Now right. brace yourself for the next blackout. Point that way. Right. That's... Right. Over to the wheel. Turn it and release the botherer. 60 seconds. Now back to where you were standing. That's it. Stand still. Let them do the job for you. <laughs> okay, what a backing, backing. Okay, Luke. Blackout coming in three, two, one. Thirty seconds. You know what to do. Let them out, but be quiet. Now, quick, get back into position. Stand away from the table. You don't need to touch the body. Let the botherers do it. Put the botherer back in the cage. No, no, no. Let them keep the brain. They can't complete the body without the brain. You have failed miserably. Oh, nicely done. But has the saboteur been spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Zoe, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Jamie because he wasn't doing much. Luke, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Jamie because he didn't really do much also. Chloe. I think the saboteur was Jamie, because when I closed my eyes, he was there, and when I opened my eyes, he was over there. Jamie. I think the saboteur was Chloe, because she didn't really do anything at all. Ellie. I also think it was Chloe, because one of the... Me? Because after one of the blackouts, I saw her kind of drop a leg. Corey, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Jamie, because when I was putting the body parts back and I froze, he was next to me and then I heard footsteps. You have voted for Jamie. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Luke. What? <laughs> Jamie, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh! Top tower technique! Successful sabotage and nobody spotted them! Jamie, why do you think the others voted for you? I think the others voted for me because Luke was too sneaky to avoid contact and it might have felt as though I was moving about. Poor unfortunate Jamie. You're trapped! <laughs> oh, if Jamie could escape, he'd have nobody to help him! Floor five! Septic sewers. Hmm, what's covered in grumble slime and crawls through the sewers? Oh, yeah, unfortunates. <laughs> ah, the septic sewers. To pass this challenge, unfortunates must plug up the toxic gas escaping from the drain. It's causing a right old stink. When the drain is complete, they will be sucked back up the pipes. Whilst waiting in the dark, someone will be sneaking about. They must plug up the drain before the time runs out, or they will fail. It's time to pick the saboteur. Ellie, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the drain is not complete at the end of two minutes. I will advise you when it's safe to leave your pipe and unplug the stinky gases. You will have five seconds to unblock the drain from when you first touch a plug. I will guide you through your whisper clip. If Ellie can make the team fail undetected, she'll make a clean getaway. Unfortunates. This is septic sewers. To pass, 
You must complete the drain by the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! Okay, Ellie. In this challenge, you need to look like one of the team. Give them some encouragement. Okay, okay. Yeah, Drain complete. Now, quick, quick! Come out! But remember, you must be quiet. Pull out the plugs. Don't worry, no one can see you. Give it a good spin. Now get back in the tunnel, quick! Don't be the last one out, Ellie. That's it. Help the team. Try to get them on side. Can you reach that one over there? I can. Go on, chorus. Spin the whole round far in. Come on. Drain and pot. Now come out, but be quiet. If they can't hear you, they won't know who to vote for. I said quiet. Get in, in, in. Quickly, out, out, out. 60 okay. seconds. Drain complete. Now out. This time, try and frame your friends. Throw plugs in front of their tunnels. Corey. And Luke. <laughs> Brilliant! Come out. You're too slow. Encourage your team. Get round here. Talk to them. Put it in. to hurry up. Hurry up. Wait. Wait. Now come out. This could be your last chance. Pull out a plug. Throw it. The one. Yes. Yes. Nine. Eight. Where is it? Seven. Six. They must not find it. Four. Three. Two, we can't get it! One. Oh. Your time is up. You have failed. Miserably. Looks like the team have failed. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was. Ellie, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Zoe because when we found out that we failed the task, she didn't look that upset about it. Corey, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Zoe too, because when we was hid in the tunnels, you could hear all the noise coming from that side of the room. Zoe. I think it was Ellie because I could hear the noise from coming from over that side. Luke. I think the saboteur was Ellie because it looked like she was throwing the plugs from that direction. Chloe, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Luke because he looked suspicious. You have voted for Ellie and Zoe. Oh, get the draw straws out! Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Zoe, you have drawn the short straw. Therefore, you are the unlucky one. Mm. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Ellie. What? <laughs> Sly and secretive, that unfortunate will be a tough one to beat. Zoe, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Zoe, why do you think the others voted for you? Because Ellie was a good saboteur and she framed me. Poor, unfortunate Zoe. You're trapped! <laughs> oh, I hope Zoe doesn't mind the stink. Floor four. Green fingers. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With green fingers, that's how. The Tower Potting Shed is home to green fingers. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must find three plant pots that contain magic bulbs. But they'd better watch out. If they pick the wrong pot, green fingers will get them. 
unearth green fingers three times and they will fail. Get this right and they'll shoot to victory. But one of the team will want to bury them. Chloe, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by persuading the others to pick a plant pot containing green fingers. I will tell you where green fingers is each time. It is up to you how you use this information. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, Chloe is the next blooming saboteur, but can she do it? Unfortunates. This is green fingers. To pass, you must avoid green fingers and find three magic bulbs. Let the challenge begin now! Uh, I think she goes for uh, the white one. Chloe, um, green fingers is in the purple pot. Should we just take... Well, which one do you think? Um, either that one or that one. I think the purple one. Careful, yeah. Chloe. Oh. Don't be too obvious. Well, Chloe, what do you oh, think? white. Um... Should we just take a wild guess and go for white? Are you going to let them have yeah. this yeah. one? Yeah. Then it doesn't matter because we've still got two yeah. left. OK, but you're really going to have to fool them next time. Yes. yes! Look pleased. He's in the green pot. Well, it might go in a pattern, so well, I don't think we should choose white again. No. Because it's not very likely that it's going to be white again. <laughs> green it could or have green or purple. Make sure it's green. It might be purple. I think because it might be going oh, that way. Yeah, we vote on it. What about green? Just pick. We could always do green next time. Ah. Well, yeah. You're playing a dangerous game. Yes. Chloe, this is your last chance. You must get them to pick green fingers. He's in the white pot. Well, right. If it goes in a pattern, it would be white. Yes. But well, it might yeah. be green. No, 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 try not green. Because we've not tried green. I don't not think I green, because think... they might be tricking us. No, so I think we'll white. Agree with yeah. Corey. OK, I'll we'll try white. Corey. White or green. Green, green. You must stop them. No, I don't think green. We've already had green, though. No, we've not. We've not. Right. We did we're white. Yeah, purple. but white was safe last time, wasn't it? Go on, go on. Just pick green. Pick no. Oh, you're going for green. Oh, oh no! That's three magic bulbs, Chloe. Yes. You know what that means. You have passed. Oh. Did we even have a saboteur on that floor? You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, you must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Luke. I think the saboteur was Chloe, because she kept going for different colours all the time. Chloe. I think the saboteur was Luke, because he weren't that happy when we passed. Ellie. I think the saboteur is Chloe because every time that we chose a bulb, she looked like she didn't agree with it. Corey. I think it was Chloe because every time we decided on something, she chose something else. You have voted for Chloe. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Chloe. <gasps> That's a double dose of failure. The saboteur slipped up and got spotted. Chloe, you failed to sabotage the challenge and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. <laughs> Chloe, why do you think you failed as a saboteur? I think I failed because I kept disagreeing with them and choosing different colours. Poor, unfortunate Chloe. You're <laughs> It didn't take them long to dig out the saboteur. Chloe didn't stand a chance. Floor three. Sleep, creepers. There was three in the bed, they all rolled over, and one got trapped. Eight alarm clocks all going off. Oh, what a racket. 
the unfortunates have got to turn them all off. Once they've done that, they've got to jump back into bed and pull their duvet right over their heads. They can't peek out, but if they hear an alarm, it means the game has been sabotaged, and they'll need to find the alarm and turn it off. They'll pass if all the alarms are off at the end of 90 seconds. There's only three, so who will it be? It's time to pick the saboteur. Luke, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. Help the others turn the alarms off, then creep out of bed and turn them back on. But remember, when you reset an alarm, you'll only have five seconds to get back under your duvet. So be fast. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, Luke has to turn someone's dream of escaping into a nightmare. Unfortunates. This is Sleep Creepers. To pass, you must have switched off all the alarm clocks at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now! Okay, Luke. First, help your team. The fun starts soon. Wait, that one, that one. Quick, back to bed. The faster you get in, the faster you get out. Right, the coast is clear. Come out. Come on, creep carefully. See if you can frame the others. Set off an alarm by their bed. But remember, do not make any noise. 60 seconds. Go on, that's it. Switch off as many as you can. And another one. Now back to bed, quick. That's a good start, but you must switch on more alarms. Right, look like you're helping. Now back to bed, quick. Okay, now wait for my cue. Right, it's safe. Out, out. Come on, get up. 30 seconds. Come on, Luke. Have you fallen asleep? You're wasting valuable time. This time, set off as many alarms as possible. Quietly. That's it. Now go. And another. And some more. Oh! You should have done more. It's too easy for them. Ten. Nine. Eight. No! Five, they've done six, it! Five. Quick! Four, set one three, off next to your bed! Two, quick, quick! One. Your time is up. You have passed. Oh, the team have passed. Boring! You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Luke. I think the saboteur was Corey because uh, all the alarm clocks were turned on near his bed. Ellie. I think the saboteur was Luke because I could hear footsteps right next to my bed. Corey. I think it was Luke because I think he deliberately turned off all my lights next to my bed. You have voted for Luke. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Luke. So, a bad saboteur, and even worse, a being sneaky! Luke, you failed to sabotage the challenge, and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Luke, how do you feel about being trapped? I don't feel so bad about being trapped because I could just sleep all the time. And um, I wish good luck to both Corey and Ellie. Poor, unfortunate Luke. You're trapped! <laughs> A long night ahead for Luke. With all those alarm clocks, he'll soon turn cuckoo. Floor two. One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom. 
To win the key of freedom, unfortunates must answer questions on their time in the tower. It's simple. Win and they'll escape. Lose and they'll be trapped. <gasps> I'm so excited. I could boogie with a botherer. Unfortunates. This is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now! Ellie, who got trapped with green fingers? Chloe. Correct. Corey, who was a sneaky saboteur in Body Shock? Luke. Correct. Ellie, name one of the unfortunates who did not play sleep creepers. Chloe. Correct. Corey, how many times did you successfully block the drain? Three times. Incorrect. Four. Ellie, who was the first unfortunate to put their hand in a plant pot? Luke. Correct. Corey, on which floor did you meet the botherers? The first one. Incorrect. Floor six. Ellie, what color were the pillows in Sleep Creepers? White. Correct. Corey, what was the name of the monster lurking beneath the plant pots? Too slow, green fingers. Ellie, how many windows were there on floor six? One. Correct. Corey, which unfortunate has been the saboteur twice? Luke. Correct. Ellie. Ellie and Corey, your time is up. Ellie, you answered five questions correctly. Corey, you answered two questions correctly. Ellie, you are the winner. Congratulations. Corey, how do you feel about being trapped? I'm really pleased that I've got this far and I never thought I'd get into the tower. Poor unfortunate Corey. You're trapped! Ellie, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Trap me if you can. Ah, well, Ellie has escaped. And Fluffy always gets upset when an unfortunate goes free. There, there, don't worry, Fluffy. Daddy's here. <laughs> <laughs> that means he likes me. Hey, but don't get too close. Go on, scrap. Well, you wouldn't want to get trapped. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.